All right, we are back. Playing more calling. How y'all doing? Are you guys enjoying? Are you guys enjoying this game? <laughs> I'm not like. It's interesting. I don't know if I love it. <laughs> See, I think we can enter through here. Hey, are we? Are we really going inside? Isn't this trespassing? What he scared of something? Whatever. Don't blame me if you get hurt. We're, we're just gonna take a quick photo. This old building has great atmosphere. We should document it before it gets torn down. This is the place, right? From five years ago? Yeah, the place where all the patients and hospital staff started dying one after the other. They never figured out the cause of death, right? It was supposedly an outbreak within the hospital, but I've heard that it was a curse too. Are you serious? Better go check it out. Better go and investigate the lamentation. We're back playing as Rin Kagura. I'm trying to follow the timeline in this game, and I don't even know. <laughs> I think, I also think you have to play through this game multiple times to get the full story. Kyoko Hibino. That sounds familiar. Okay. Here we go. Are we back in this house here? Oh, yes. That's right. We did that puzzle. It took us like 20 years. Here we go. How's the map looking? It's, it's map, all right. <laughs> I think I, I had like difficulties opening that door, and it turns out I was just opening it from the wrong side. Okay, what does this? I keep finding like writing. Hold on. I keep finding goddamn writing. All right. So we do still have our phone. That's good. And we have just a candle. That's right. We don't have a light, but we do have candlelight. Fantastic. That's right. Bathroom. Now, if I recall, if I recall, recollect, uh, correctly, <laughs> huh? That's not a good noise. Okay, so I spent the last like ten minutes wandering the house, but I realized here I'm looking at a guide now. The last time we played, we got a phone number, um, right before the chapter ended, and that should transport us to the next area. God damn. Okay, let's just dial it in right now. Otherwise, I would have never figured that out. Nine nine seven. I'm looking at a guide. One one six. Two eight six. Here we go. Wait, is this not right? Oh, it is right. Yes, it just took a long ass time. The candle! Now what? I need to find some light. <laughs> that hand. It's so realistic. Was that it? Shit. Oh, are we back at the school now, dude? That's what this looks like, right? Oof. Huh? Huh? It's like a phone. Damn it. 
It's gotta be in this room. It's getting quieter. It's so friggin' dark in here, dude. Send help. You obtained cell phone. Look at this. I wanted to help. I wanted to help her. What? Is that what happens when you become a ghost? Y'all <laughs> Y'all become simple? <laughs> I wa I wanted to help. What is happening? Oh no. <gasps> the nurse. Let's get the hell out of here. We still need a flashlight. Huh! <laughs> okay, I'm following. No, we're not at the school, we're at the hospital, dude. Yeah, if I were to look at my map. Yep, it's the hospital, all right. We've been here several times. Where would she have gone? Let's check the office. Or whatever this is. Oh. Huh! Ah! You looking at here? Kyoko's Diary 1! April 1st. April Fools, dude. Don't believe any of this shit. I went to greet my patient. Her name was Reiko Asagiri. She answered all of my questions, but she seemed very quiet and withdrawn. It doesn't look like she's getting, getting along with the other children. Maybe she's nervous. I'm gonna try to do my best to improve Reiko's experience here. Hmm. It's a photograph. Ah! You obtained photo of a girl. That ghost. It was the nurse. This child. Is that me? No. Oh. No, it's this chick. That's right. Okay, okay. Scary cat eye girl. I got you. I'm just butchering this story. Is that ghost? This child? Riko Asagiri? No way. Oh no. It's always bad when they're showing like your your lifeline there on the top left. That's when you know there's going to be some sort of bullshit. We need a light source here. What are we looking at? You can't see well in the darkness. Oh my god, I don't like that one bit. What is this? Oh, fuck. It's the thing I was just looking at, dude. It's got demonic eyes. But does it have a light? <laughs> what? It moved? Huh? Huh? Oh. It was because of the battery. The battery is dead. I don't have candles either. If I can find some batteries, maybe I can use the flashlight again. Hmm. Does it mean it's probably in this room? It's not gonna let me leave, is it? Oh, it will. Alright. Let's find some batteries. Where the hell would we find batteries? Should we check the drawers here? You never find anything in drawers, man. The 
chores in this game. No good. Alright, we know our mission. Find some batteries. Let's save, maybe? Because, you know, we made lots of progress. Been killing it. Uh, let's check the map. So I can go into this room. This is where like the chute is, right? Let's check it out. Oh, it feels great to be able to run again. Can't see well in the darkness. So I'm not really gonna be able to do much until we find some batteries. Uh, so I can check out this room, 301. Fuck. Won't even let me investigate anything until I find these goddamn batteries, dude. How much you want to bet it's in that room I was in earlier? Holy... I can go into the uh, room on the left coming up. Hold on. Yeah. This is where I started, though, no? It absolutely is. This is where I found my cell phone. I think there's batteries in here. There should be one more room. On the left, I can look at. What's this over here? Oh! That's right. Uh, which... I have to record. Oh, man. Here we go, you ready? We're recording. Okay, so that was the old lady that we were just uh, playing as in the last chapter. So they were all patients at this hospital. There's the nurse, the little girl, the elderly couple. And I guess they all died suddenly? That's kind of the story? Oh, we need some batteries, dude. What the fuck was that? Let's go. They wouldn't make them like downstairs or something, would they? Would they make them like downstairs? Ah! You... God damn it, dude. I'm shaking. Oh, she's scary, dude. Forget you, lady. Oh, they won't let me leave. Ah! Oh my god. Forget you, kid. You're done. Oh my god. Oh my god! Ha! Ha! 
Forget this noise! I'm done. How do we... What do we do? What do we do? Hold on. Holy shit. That was the craziest thing we've seen. Should we not go to the end of the hallway? That was some kind of crazy. I wonder what would have happened if she caught me when the screen went all red. This is the first time we've ever seen that. It would probably be GG if that shit happened. Okay. Operation Find Batteries. Look at this. Another one. Here we go. Playing that shit back. Hello, Eiko. You look well today. My friend from the chat room said that she would come visit me here. It makes me so happy. I can't wait. Is that so? That's very nice of her. Make sure you're in good spirits for your visitor. I will. See you later. Okay. Can't see well in the darkness. What the hell, dude? Like, these are files that I'm just like, I'm unable to pick up. We're missing important story and lore here, dude. Safe... Save room? Safe room? Oh, this is... Can't see well in the darkness. This is where we saw that nurse ghost, right? With the creepy face. You know, the one with the creepy face. Uh, I think, yeah, we can go into 202. Another file. No. We're gonna find it. In the last room I think I can go in is, yeah, the, the office behind the, behind the desk. I hear some talking. What the fuck are we listening to? It's like a radio. There's no tape. <gasps> we take the batteries out of here. <laughs> yes. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I know you called me earlier and said the same shit. Okay. Oh, so I already had the flashlight on me. Huh? Y'all gotta stop making noises right fucking now, I'm telling you. 
I am playing around, dude. Okay, so... So I thought once we found the batteries, we'd have to go back... Upstairs... To where that creepy thing was. But I guess not. Uh, should we save? Oh! Do you guys see that shit? Let's maybe just do this real quick. Kyoko's Diary 3. September 12th. I saw Reiko having a good time. I asked her if anything good had happened, and it turns out she was using the cell phone to chat. It seems she got the idea from a magazine article that was in the waiting room. She's been so happy. Sometimes I even hear her humming when I glance at my phone. I had a message. Wait, is that- was that a- I'm just like, <laughs> is that a run-on sentence? Nope. I just missed the period. I had a message. It was from Reiko. She sent me a message when I was so close by. She must really like her cell phone. This may be the best way for her to connect to the outside world right now. It's like they wanted to guide me. Maybe they want me to read the diary. Uh, okay. So do we need to find the rest of the diaries? Remember, there was one in 202 on the bed. There was one upstairs, so I do need to go back upstairs anyways. Kyoko's Diary 2, June 19th. Rico's mother gave her a cell phone when she came to visit. Her hospital allows the use of cell phones in the lounge. It seems that in this day and age, one needs to be able to use a cell phone in a hospital as well. Her mother mentioned her upcoming busy schedule and that it would be difficult for her to come visit Reiko again. So at the very least, they could still be in touch with the cell phone. Reiko surprised me with how full of life she was when she called her mother to test the new phone. She had a wonderful smile. Another diary. A memento from when that child was alive. If they only knew. Now you can't get cell phones out of people's hands. Shit is permanent fixture. Was there uh can I go in here? Was there anything in here? Ah! ah! You Okay. She wants me to read the diary the diaries. Kyoko's diary four. November seventeenth. When I went to the hospital room today, there was a cracked cell phone on the floor. Recently, she's been having trouble getting in touch with her mother, and when she does, they only fight about it. She probably got upset and threw the cell phone in frustration. I'm sure Reiko regrets it. She knows how busy with her work her mother is. I told her I would ask the head nurse if Reiko would be able to use the hospital phone. Of course, she wouldn't be able to use it whenever she wanted, but she would be allowed to use it for 20 minutes before it lights out. She can also chat from the PC in the lounge. So maybe I'll teach her how to use it tomorrow. This child. How long has she been at the hospital? After such a long stay, she must have... She must have what? She must have gone crazy! Alright, let's head upstairs. I'm assuming diary number one is upstairs. We saw it, it was like on the hospital bed. see so I think it's probably we should probably check the calf was there anything in the cafeteria I can't fucking remember we should check it out anyways let's do a quick oh shit just a quick skim ah I see you lady Kyoko's diary Kyoko's diary 5 December 19th there hasn't been much word from Reiko's mother. She hardly seems to answer the phone. It always goes straight to voicemail. I hope she's okay. Reiko's health really seems to get better whenever she receives calls from her mother, and I was hoping she would be strong enough for an operation soon. But she's been down recently, like when I first met her. Every time I go see Reiko, she seems to get lonelier and lonelier. I wish there was something I could do. The nurse was watching over the child even after she became a ghost. She continued to protect her. Okay.
Huh? That is not what we want, dude. I don't think I should go in there. I was surprised I was even able to open that shit. Here it is. Diary 6. March 14th. It's been one week since Rako's operation. Her progress is less than ideal. There are no complications with the surgery itself, but her condition doesn't seem to be improving at all. Conversely, it seems the stress from the operation has left her worse off. She spent the last hour crying into my arms, but she's sleeping quietly now. Her eyes are still puffy, though. It's irritating that the only comfort I can give her is by holding her close. Also, it seems that she's checking her chat site less frequently. I wonder what happened. Maybe I'll take a look next time. Reading this diary, I can almost feel the nurse's emotions. She's trying to tell me something. Okay. I'm still missing diary number one. Oh no. Should we? Should we save before we... Yeah, let's do it. Fuck it. Here we go. There was a phone in this room, wasn't there? And the creepy fucking... Okay. I need to get to the first floor, but how do I get there? Ah! I don't know, maybe. Try the fucking stairs? Oh no, 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 no. When you see it. Huh. What is this? You obtained a business card. Oh! 997 447 619. A business card. Should I call this number? Take a look around. We are still missing diary number one. Alright, maybe I won't find it until I get to the first floor. I don't know what's making all these noises. But no sir, I don't like it. Hold on, what's uh... What the hell was the... business card oh I did did I get maybe I did get the diary number one look at that shit oh man business card No. Oops. What fucking card was it, dude? This was it, right? 997. Yeah. 997 447 619. Huh! Fuck off. <laughs> Are you serious? You play me like that game? Ugh. Here we go. Can I have just taken the stairs there, dude? Would that shit have worked? I kind of think that should have worked. Oh man, here we are. There are documents that were to be sent to another hospital. Okay, we made it. First floor. Is there anything in any of these drawers? Ever? Look at this! Ah! What the fuck? Oh, don't touch my phone, bitch! What the fuck? 
We obtained cell phone. <gasps> Unbelievable. The hell out of here. Yeah, we're doing this. <laughs> Please believe we're doing that shit. Hey, the entrance. Is this the first floor? Can we like leave and shit? Or is this just gonna go into the abyss? Nope. Okay, so first floor. Where are we going? Uh not the washroom, I don't wanna go in there. Treatment room? Or the examination room. One of those we're doing it. That's a good sign. We got static. Hold on. Can I do it right now? Let's try it. We're recording. Should be done, dude. So this is the girl. This is Reiko. This hospital. When I got into that accident, this is where I was taken. You look better today. How do you feel? Hmm. Yeah. Can I... Can I ask you something? What is it? The day of the accident. I was... I was supposed to meet somebody here at, at this hospital. I... Met them in the chat room. I only know their screen name. I'm pretty sure that they were staying here at the hospital. The screen name was Koroneko. Do you know who that is? Yes. That patient actually left the hospital a few days ago. Really? I'm sorry though, I can't give you any more information regarding a patient. Understand. Jesus. Ah! Oh yeah, Kyoko. She was the nurse in charge of me. Okay, so that was Ren. Never mind. But why did Kyoko become a ghost? Interesting. The story is interesting. It's a little difficult to follow. Huh? Huh? Hello? Hello? I didn't think that you'd pick up. You're at Kurumiya Hospital, right? Yes. Why are you calling on this phone? What do you mean? Basically, whoever's been dragging people into the mnemonic abyss through the black page is there. Makoto? Hello? Great. 
Who brought us here to the mnemonic abyss? So the origin. Ah! What? Where are they? It's fucking Reiko. Lady, holy fuck! Oh no! Huh? Ah! Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up. No! Please, Rico, you fucking bitch, leave me alone. Shit! Huh! I'm shaking, dude. What? Oh! Oh shit, what do I do? Oh, you see that clutch shit? Go away, lady. Ah, oh, fuck, I missed it. I think that was like the first time I've ever hit that. Am I gonna die? Oh, there's more static. Where's it coming from? Oh, you! Where is it? Here. My goodness, this game. So Rin was supposed to meet Reiko? And they met like on a chat room? So she was on her way to meet Reiko. And she got hit by a bus. I mean, that's just bad luck. Oh, look at this. Kyoko's Diary 9. July 26th. Reiko's condition is quite serious. She gets thinner and thinner each day, and she's all but stopped eating. No matter how hard I press, she doesn't seem to have the appetite. I think one of the reasons is that she hasn't been able to get a hold of her mother at all. Actually, there's been an issue with the accounting department since she missed last month's payment. I'm worried about her mother. When I went to see Reiko just now, she told me to leave her alone, but I began just stroking her hair in silence, and she let me. She's just being stubborn. She must be feeling very lonely. She told me that next week an internet friend was coming to see her. It seems like the only thing she has to look forward to. I hope that it gives her an opportunity to cheer up. Oh, damn, we all know how that went. Meeting a friend from the internet? Come on, Rin, have you not figured it out? Lady? Okay. What? This lady hasn't figured this shit out yet. Huh, you! What do you need me to look at? Huh? Kyoko's Diary 10. August 1st. I don't know what to do. My colleague Hina was complaining about Reiko's recent attitude. Her illness isn't getting better, 
and it's taking a toll on her psychologically. Oftentimes, she takes it out on the nurses. It really puts me in a difficult position. It seems that Hina had built up a lot of stress, so I just let her vent. But Reiko overheard her. I was so careless. She hasn't talked to me since. Even worse, now she just throws the food on the floor. We used to be so close. I'm not sure that we'll ever be able to salvage our relationship now. Who's this talking? Kyoko. Did she lie when she said Kuroneko had left the hospital? So she was actually there? Of course, there's no way. Reiko was like in the hospital like long term. Right? Um, this one we should be able to open. What? Oh! What the fuck was that? Or is it this one? Medical chart. Words are illegible. Holy... Oh man. Wait, I think this is the room we started in, right? On this floor, maybe? Nothing in here. What happens? What's over at the stairs? Is it like blocked off? It is. There's a couch in the way. There's no way. We go down. There's like a basement. I don't think we've ever been down here. Well, it's shuttered. Unless I can go through this door. No, I certainly, I certainly cannot. Unexplored area, basement floor. How the fuck do we get down here? Clearly we're going to come here at some point. God damn it. Okay, we, uh, we will be back with more calling. Very, very soon. This episode's getting long, and uh, we'll, we'll finish this chapter. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace out.